it is definitely worth your money. Like Apple, take my wallet, take all my money away from me. I never thought I would hear those words from my mouth, like ever. Thanks for calling Apple Boise Town Square. Your call may be recorded for quality assurance. I'm an automated system that can handle complete sentences. I can get you to someone in our sales area. To route your call correctly, please tell me the product you're calling about. MacBook Pro. Hey, how's it going? I was wondering if you could help me with uh, putting in order for the new MacBook Pro. Okay, this for the MacBook Pro, the 16 inch. Yes. Um, it is the i9, so basically the i9, uh, 2.3 gigahertz, 32 gigabytes of RAM, the 550, uh, 5500M, 8 gigabytes of DDR6 memory. You're doing so that boxing video? Yes, I am. You don't even own that MacBook. Hey, don't do that. <laughs> you can't take that out. <laughs> no, I won't. So what is going on YouTube? My name is Marlon Ariana and I actually made a very big purchasing decision that I wanted to try out and see if I'm gonna regret it or not. Basically what it is, yes, it's the MacBook Pro 16. Yes it is. Was it a good idea? Was it a dumb idea? I don't know. English is the main language. Press the return key. Press the return key. Here you go. I'm gonna set this up. I'm an idiot who didn't have the mic on, but right now we're headed to a place called The District to basically promote the journal, along with a massive video that Monica has assigned me to do for the one year. I love making videos. I do, I do. Because <laughs> I'm challenging him, YouTube, and he doesn't want the challenge. Yeah, so she wants me to do a lot of masking, a lot of uh, transitions that I have zero experience with, but it's definitely gonna be fun because I just bought Mocha. So that's gonna help me with tracking, masking, and I don't know what else it can do, but it can do a lot of stuff. Yes, we're going to the district right now. We're gonna grab some coffee, do some photos in there, along with a lot of video stuff for the video that I was mentioning. The district. Wow, you cleared it up. Oh wow. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I was not expecting to like this that much. I'm so disappointed in myself for this, but I actually like a MacBook Pro. <laughs> I bet a lot of people who have built PCs are gonna hate me for this, but this MacBook Pro 16 inch is literally the best thing I have seen in a while. What is going on guys? I hope you are having a wonderful day. And I know a lot of you guys have been watching YouTube videos and I've been reviews on this laptop. Honestly, I know because I was in the same boat. It is definitely worth your money. Like Apple, take my wallet, take all my money away from me. I never thought I would hear those words from my mouth, like ever.
So if you know a little bit about me, I actually used to be an engineer. I worked in IT and I literally absolutely love Windows computers. I built my own computer right here. I haven't talked about building computers or anything tech in a while. If you look down in my channel history, see my old videos, you'll see that I actually built that and recorded it. It wasn't the best, but what can you do when you're filming yourself? It's really hard. So I got to take this guy out for a spin. So the first thing I did was open it up, download all Premiere Pro, etc. Transfer some files that I had on my Windows computer onto the MacBook so that I can have all my LUTs, my presets, and just a couple other things. When loading it from my Windows computer to the flash drive, it was really slow. Even when I'm uploading footage to my Windows computer, as soon as I plug that flash drive onto this MacBook and transfer the files, this thing was blazing. Oh my God, I can't believe I was gonna say that. That's embarrassing. I was really impressed. I have not seen files transfer that fast even on my windows machine they do take a while to transfer i don't know what it is about this macbook but whatever they did apple thank you for that because it's annoying to have to just sit there and wait for files to transfer so i wanted to talk about the speakers honestly you have probably seen a bunch of youtube videos by now and you already know that the speakers are amazing just take our word for it the speakers are great I just felt like, oh my God, I felt like I was in the movie theaters when we were watching Netflix on my bed. That's how good they are. Oh my God. Even when I briefly heard myself talk from a previous video on this MacBook, I thought I sounded pretty good and I hate my voice. <laughs> Now, as a video editor and a content creator, my main concern was render times along with playback smoothness, no drop frames, and just export times. Now, I literally stacked two LUTs on top of my footage, let it play in 4K, and it ran smooth. When I did that on my Windows computer, it just freaking, oh my God, I'm gonna just show you what I mean. It's just, it's not the best, it's not the funnest. All right, so playback smoothness. Now what we're gonna do is, I'm not gonna do a typical screen record just because that actually slows down the performance of the computer. So you can see the full thing that I'm talking about. Also, the fact that this is connected to a display slows it down a little bit more, but it doesn't matter. So let's watch this guy together. All right, boom, Max. Oh God, it's embarrassing. Let's not watch that. Oh, another cool thing is that like, if I use a trackpad, I can do this. Where I can zoom out and into the timeline. Not only that, I can scroll left and right to it. That is awesome so these are unrendered clips and that speaker though just smooth absolutely smooth no drop frames nothing so let me do a drone and let's say a gopro footage at 4k as well and it's playing fine no issues at all honestly that's incredible i'm so impressed oh wait no see it's just playing just perfectly fine now this is a gopro footage before was a Mavic Air footage as well in 4K and I didn't change anything, didn't create proxy files, none of that. So let's get out of here for a sec and actually turn my computer on. There it goes, starts blowing in hard. All right, so again, now I pulled up Premiere Pro on the MacBook as well as my actual computer. Like if I do this, I drag it around, play it again, snaps right back into place, perfectly fine, dragging it, it's fine. But on the other hand here, so if I go from the beginning, press play, all good, pause it, scrub it, 
Press play. See how it lags? There we go. There we go. Look at that beautiful lag. Look at that. Amazing. Okay. So we have a little LUT on it, as well as just wanting to have this in the frame. So if we hit enter at the same time, it's rendering. And it finished rendering real quick. Now here's a confusion for me. This renders faster, but the playback on this is just 10 times smoother. So it's like a trade-off. One renders faster than the other. I don't know why. By the way, the specs in here are an i7 8700K, 32 gigs of RAM at 3200 megahertz, a RTX 2060, and an NZXT Kraken for the cooling. Okay, so I switched to the microphone of the camera just because I don't want Audition to be running in the background to affect the render times or anything. So and if I play both, see how they both freeze up. So here it goes. The real render test because this had neat video and this didn't, so that was my fault. One, two. Boom. Okay. So time to wrap up the video. Closing thoughts on this MacBook Pro. I really like it a lot. It's sexy! <laughs> it's sexy! <laughs> this real estate of the screen is really nice. 16 inches, I like it. I think 17 is too much, but at the same time, 16 is really nice. Again, the speakers are truly amazing. The bass, the mids, the highs, the lows, everything about the speakers, Apple did right. Playback smoothness is just freaking amazing. I don't know what kind of juju or magic they put into this MacBook, but it, it is smooth. Like honestly, I was surprised that it was running smoother than my computer. I know render times on my computer is better. Export times is better by only what? Like you saw it only like a couple seconds, like 10 seconds at most. That's like a normal heavy edit that I would do. Lots, denoiser, speed ramp. <clears throat> oh my God. Honestly, this MacBook handled everything that I would do perfectly fine. So with that being said, I'm still not keeping this just because I know that the 10th generation CPU processors are around the corner. So I know that within by the summer, if Apple decides to upgrade it to the next generation CPUs, then this thing will go down in price. So I definitely still believe that Apple overcharges their product because of the name, because of the ecosystem. But honestly, I am finally pulling the trigger and gonna get all go all in. So I'm gonna get an iPhone, I'm gonna get a MacBook Pro, and possibly an iPad. Well, we already have an iPad, so I'm just gonna use hers. They actually improved, well, not improved, they went back to the previous model switches, which is way better than what she has because I just, don't like it at all. I still prefer mechanical keyboards over laptop keyboards, but that's just like a personal preference. Come here. Ah. 
What are your thoughts? It's nice. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. I think that the speakers are fucking loud and the keys are fucking keyable and the screen is fucking big. Oh shit, what's oh, what happening? Did you do? Anyways, my thoughts compared to my current MacBook is yes, I wanted the bigger MacBook because of the screen. I think that will help with me not hunching as much, right? Yes. Because awesome. I got neck problems. Oh god. <laughs> and then I really like what do you call that? Touch bar. You can see the URL on it for whatever you know, page it's funny. you're at. I actually thought it was gonna be gimmicky, but it's actually not. It's nice. It's actually nice. I actually did enjoy the touchpad. I don't know why people didn't. I don't understand. I actually did it's genuinely like, enjoy it. It's like they added more buttons without cramming the keyboard. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm so you can control like your uh, volume. Um, you can even pa oh, I don't even see that. Pause and fast forward, lower the keyboard. You can bring brightness. up the apps panel. Oh wow! You can go to Safari with the touchpad. Anyways, and then another, another thing, remember we were talking about that I noticed was um, even though it's a bigger MacBook, the keyboard is still the same size as the 13 inch. Yes, I forgot to mention that. The keyboard did feel small on this for some reason, even and though it's 16 inches. It is the same size. Yeah. Um, I, the only difference is the speaker panels are bigger. It takes up more room since it is a bigger laptop. Hmm. That's something to think about. Oh yeah, and they put, you could book, put bookmarks in the touch bar. Oh yeah, I didn't even see that. Oh, but that only works with Safari, right? Not Chrome? Yeah, that's what I remember. So this feature works with Safari, which is kind of cool, but it does not work with Google Chrome, which is kind of sucks because I'm a Chrome person. Oh, that. last thing. They also have a finger touch thing here. So you can open the MacBook with just your finger print reader. Oh, that button? Yeah, it's a fingerprint reader too. See, look, watch. And then I do my fingerprint and it's open. What just happened? Oh, there we go. That was weird. But yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you for your thoughts. Appreciate it. That's what up. I'm Marlon's hot girlfriend. Yes. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just kidding. He was saying that earlier. Yes. I'm not trying to be a douchebag. No. I totally does. I'm <laughs> no, like, no. Girl douchebaggery. No. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking the video. Like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Comment down below what do you like about the MacBook Pro 16. Or if you have any questions, definitely go ahead and ask them. Peace. Do it. That was good. <laughs> <sighs> thanks, babe.